Er, oh, God damn it, John. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had, I, I, I'm a tough, nah, there's no way. I just saw him. There's a, anyway, if you saw it, you saw it, you didn't, you didn't. It is what it is, it ain't what it ain't. But yeah, we are seeing the Chrom come out immediately, and we already see a really good start, a head start for, uh, for Carfa right now. Forcing numbers get the deep breathing as soon as possible because you need a little bit of extra help to kind of, you know, get this back to more even percentage. And look, you already see that. 40%. That's evil. Horrible. Deep breathing. Unfair. Makes her heavier. Run faster. Ground speed. She has less knockback given or taken. She gives more knockback. It's evil. And Carfo does not care. Carfo kills her. It's Wiz. Yeah, some of the bigger, uh, some of the big benefits of Krom a lot of the times is you gain access to not only a balanced sword, so things like jab forward smash become much more viable options. While Roy would get the sour spot, Krom doesn't have one. Yes. Krom also just has more range than Roy, both from not having sour spots and his model is slightly taller, which means his arms are longer, the sword is slightly bigger. Like you just are able to poke from what feels like forever away. And this is already a character in or in Wii Fit Trainer that doesn't have a lot of best, a lot of good forward-facing answers out of shield. Like standing grab, forward air, that's not contesting mm -hmm. the amount of range that Carflow can play with, but you can contest Carflow off stage. That Krom always needs to be hit with something, and in this case, it was a volleyball. Yep, absolutely, and it, it is what it is. You are able to get that uh, that advantage state over Carflow by just taking him off stage and securing that stock as fast as possible. Especially with someone like Krom, who has just a vertical recovery anyway. Yes, you, yeah. you have to do so much math to come at the stage. And Numbers can really just utilize that to his own advantage, and he did. And look at this, Nair into the up smash, into the ball, missing the deep breathing, but gained a little bit of healing for your effort. So therefore, Numbers is kind of playing this game really right. Now, we're going to be uh, testing, uh, testing Numbers on shield. You get that nice sweet frame six back air off shield just to get some extra percentage on car flow. You're, you yourself, 126%, 124. I'm sorry, you get healing from deep breathing. What can car flow do? Well, gotta get some, some, some dominance here. I feel like he's kind of running around a lot, sashing here and there, and he's not taking a good solid positioning. It's hard to maintain the same position against Wii Fit as a whole, though. Like, that's where I think John exploits with Wii Fit so much better than most other, if not all, other Wii Fit trainers, is forcing you off the spot, whether it just be by how patient he is off stage and how generally defensive he is, or the the amount of pressure that he can put on in an instant. That's 85%, 99 now, deep breathing putting on so much damage and all because he's able to get Carflow swinging, he's able to get Carflow whiffing, and then close out the game oh just my like God. that. Do you see how John short hopped forward towards Carflow? Carflow instinctively went for the F-tilt, you'll see it. Went for the F-tilt and then numbers saw shade back and got, got the deep, got the sun citation and then got the dash tag. What I love about, no, no, let's see that last second. Hold on, hold, 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 the, hold the MF phone. What I love about this is not only the B reverse to play it out there, there was no air dodge here. Carfo did a good job of saving his jump in order to avoid the ball, but he literally had only two options. Go to ledge against Wii Fit Trainer when you're at 100, or try to play aggressive and try to mix John up at the very end there. But John had all of his bases covered right at the very end because he knew his advantage state was uh, as primed as ever against a character that has a very, very, as you were mentioning, a very linear disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage. Yeah, he does. And it's like, once Krom is in the disadvantage, it's just so much more difficult to really bring it back. The way that, you know, numbers will be thriving off of being a stock ahead, being, you know, with deep breathing active. All these little factors that let we fit do what we fit wants to do, and you ha you have to hold that. You have to weigh it out as long as possible. Carfa right here is trying to ledge guard for a little bit longer, but what can numbers do? Mixes mixes it up. She has one of the best ledge hangers in the game, which sucks. She has a really good until, until she has a pull up, and it's kind of funny because her head peeks out. Character was designed around this ledge. Yeah, I mean she'd be doing pull ups off of it. She's chilling, mm -hmm. right? getting getting her workout in while making you have all of a bad time. 128 though, spiking down the volleyball and spending as much time as possible to get back, mm -hmm. getting deep breathing online just in time before the forward tilt came down here, Mott. We're seeing numbers once again late into stocks, taking advantage of center. I was going to say taking funny. center stage, but you know, you went for it and uh, you gambled and you lost big. 
Yeah, you saw a really good state right there in the replay. Then you go for a soccer ball, you jump down, you miss your forward air, and you die. Was probably just definitely was yeah, big L. L. Was definitely scared of the upper recovery that Carpo did initiate on the startup of John trying to get rid of the stage, and he was like, let me just wait out a little bit. And I was like, oh, wait. A little bit too low there. Oh, the instant dash attack in order to retake center. Looking for the early forward to maybe trying to get uh, Carflow biting, but he did not. Just the roll back to center. And now it's Carflow's turn to set up for a ledge trap. The, the rare down tilt. <laughs> that reached? That reached Crom down tilt? The rare we fit down tilt, it, it happens. <laughs> you know, sometimes you throw it, it, the bridge pose, you get your legs going out, you, you feel pretty good. Let's see, where did, we'll see the, the instant replay. Parry. Bah. That's hilarious. Look at it. Look at how far that goes. And the she form. really is stretching her hamstring. It's good yeah, for her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the small of her back. Yes. Nice. Really like arching there. Good for her. Yoga, Ooh. everyone. Yoga. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't even noticed that the, the percentage difference here. Carflow is in the lead. Stock wise, have, has a lot of good, you know, cushioning. Percentage wise, because you're so low right now. Now is numbers wise to bring up the uh, the mountain. Has a climb the mountain right here. But I, I mean, you know him. Definitely doable. We have, we're seeing it right here, right now. Deep breathing is inactive right now, but with it active, you saw that 50% was taken and put onto Carfo with almost no sweat broken for, for numbers. Now it's Carfo's turn to bring it back. And he's doing a pretty solid job of it here, Mon. We're seeing just almost an inversion of how the previous game, where John was able to get by ledge very, very swiftly and power his way back on stage without much difficulty. Instead, it's Carflow paying respect to that space that John Numbers like kind of forces you to respect, but then mixing up with some solid uh, some solid drop zone fares, and always having a giant hitbox ready and awaiting John for whatever the decision is out off of ledge and especially out of the corner. Well, you're going way Ooh. deep there, Numbers. Carflow had the stock advantage. You're going really deep with that up recovery. She has good range on it, but. Ain't that good. I don't, he would have made it, honestly, but Carpo was right, ready with it, ready with the back air. Knew they were going to come all the way down, and, you know, you want to go to the ledge? Okay, we'll go to the ledge. Over there, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll go to game three, and you can find your way to the ledge after that. I, I blinked, and the match is over. What the hell? Yeah, yeah Carpo just, yeah, th well, that happened. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Carpo, Carpo zooming. We don't talk about all that. We don't talk about the, uh, the weird yeah. SD that happened there. It's okay. So if you give him an inch, he's going to take a mile, and that's always been Carflow's MO, and I feel like as a player, where he can just push so hard, so uh, so quickly, at instant 46 off of a stray back hit of neutral air. Well, uh, Hello, a B? Yep, that works. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, mate. <laughs> um, Ten second timeout. <laughs> Numbers, oh my goodness. All right, but Carflow is at 106%. Numbers is bringing back, back to his game three with a new fire under him. Now we're, again, game three. Numbers are so well in these tight adaptation situations of best of threes, where suddenly, you know, you have to be really, be really careful with how you approach, especially Carflow being the aggressor, has to maybe have really in a little bit here, because you are at the higher percentage. For sure. Oh, we'll be seeing the upper there, though. Carflow just trying so hard to find any of these like individual openings, but it's easy as one, two, three at that point. You see the air dodge burn because you're forcing Carflow to burn it with that instant header, and then you're ready with a dash attack with deep breathing, no less. All and all in a day's work there for numbers. Oh, okay, is... just kind of patiently waiting on Shu right there. What can we see? Trying to get the forward air. Carflow jumps back, avoids that hitbox, avoids a back air. Oh! Gets a really good smash right there, but it's not going to be quite enough as Dumbers, again, had deep breathing. Oh, nice roll through. Had deep breathing, was heavier, was not going to be dying to that from all across the stage quite then. Now, I think, I think that kills if you're, if you're Roy, uh, Roy there, because you get the sweet spot up till, and it closes out. It closes oh, out the mm -hmm. stop with the sweet spot, but either way, you find the four tilt, you make up for it with, uh, with Krom's incredibly strong and instantly accessible forward tilt, which can cover all of that space. Just looking for a starter. Ooh, I like that little slingshot there, but it ended up uh, causing more damage than it helped out Carflow. Almost miss, miss spacing and then turning it into so much damage. Numbers is just so good in scrambles and just finding the, uh, turning the awkward situation into his favor that any sort of position where it's kind of forcing Carflow to 
bet on his own instinctual button press tends to either, tends to in, in some form turn into the favor of the Wii Fit trainer. Exactly. And you know we're saying all that, yeah. Even stocks right here, not quite even percentages, but I think Carfo is taking this positioning on the ledge right here and running with it. Almost as far as numbers ran with that roll. Good lord. That roll go crazy. Oh, the fourth are here just to get him off stage. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Carfo kind of falls a little bit. Can we get back on stage? Yes, we can. Double hop just to get out of the situation. Get back on stage. Get your feet on the ground. And now suddenly his numbers off stage. Now what can we do? Can we get it down there? No, we're not going to be able to. Gain the sucker ball to get Carfo off of them for a little bit longer. A little bit of charge of the Sun Citation. But the... So the side beast can be able to once again repeat that positioning we were seeing earlier with Carfo on the helm and the ledge and numbers having having to break his way back to center stage. I almost want to see Carfo make the make the gamble, especially now that we're seeing John in the last stock of this game three. Like you he's found himself in the position of a ledge hang so often when numbers is low enough where he has to up these shortly. Like, you need, in those are types of positions where drop zone back air is going to come out and is going to seal you a game. It's just a matter of when Carfo wants to pull the trigger and just how comfortable numbers is on recovering low. And I feel like right now, numbers is in a pretty solid, like, in a pretty fine position where he feels like recovering low is an option that he can go for most times. Ooh, Good. gets the reverse forward air. Zero to 10%, zero to 8% now. Oh my god, now it's even. Totally Completely even. even. <laughs> 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 Completely flat right here, but Carfo is doing a great job at just maintaining this low area. The platform is good to run away from any kind of area attacks that number is going for. The grab whipped. That's huge for Carfo, but so it is for numbers. Gaining this on south into the dash attack. 40% by the way. <laughs> the, the conversion from Carfo. Oh, yeah, 40% by the way. <laughs> Just so, damaging big bursts and big chunks. You'll, you'll feel that burn one way or another. Oh, that forward air there. Drop zone? No, thinking about it instead, like just really trying to bait numbers there. Oh, wanting to hold onto any amount of silver bullets as he can. Carflow looking for the edge guard here. Neutral get up to avoid the ball, knowing he had the missed timing. 82% though, as numbers is continuously just comfortable, resetting and lathering and rinsing and repeating the same type of situations, knowing he'll find a big splash when he needs to. <gasps> that was scary, oh my gosh. Yeah, where'd that ball go? Where the ball hit his hand and went back and ricocheted back to the foot. Crazy stuff. But Carfo is playing this game very, very smartly, just kind of leaving around all of what Numbers has to do, and then boom! It is Carfo taking it over to Grand Finals. Numbers knocked down to losers, has to kind of wait over them to just Finals kind of prettily. Um, in the meantime, good stuff to Carflow. The yeah. Krom came out. The Krom was showing up, and it's, it always... It really seems to show up a lot against Numbers, just doing a good job of holding down space very, very well, creating this no-fly zone for Numbers to interact with, a very huge disjoint that it doesn't matter what hit you get, it's always going to be immediately valuable. And uh, Carflow having a nice mix-up in the pocket that on the surface is so basic, but matters at the very end because of how well he was playing in his own bubble that when he retreat uh, moves that bubble with a roll in at the very end that changes the paradigm it changes the way that uh, all of your spacing works numbers wanted to interact with how uh, carflow had been playing against what carflow actually did despite how simple it was on the surface yeah that's it uh -huh.